have um, two awesome community guests this week. I'm actually sitting here right now with Sandy Harara. Oh, sorry. Yes, you yes. said it right. I said you it right. Good. Okay. <laughs> and you're from this awesome organization that I've been reading all about online called Got Core Values, right? Yes. So tell me about that and how you got started. Yeah, so Got Core Values was born out of um, my passion project that I started when I was working for Delivering Happiness. Awesome. Uh, I was running internal operations, internal culture at Delivering Happiness as the culture ops diva. And during that time, we had schools reaching out to us saying, I want to be happy like Zappos too. Can you teach us how you teach companies? And we really didn't have a school program, but I said, I'm happy to help you do anything I can uh, for education. And so I started working with them and we started, it started working. We started seeing uh, teacher retention. Um, we started seeing decreased student disciplinary actions and uh, just increased happiness in these schools that I was working with. So I branched out a year and a half ago on my own to build Got Core Values and solely focus on transforming our schools to be happier places and great places to work and learn. This is such a fantastic initiative and I think that I never really thought about schools having crossovers with organizations and still wanting to keep the same engagement, right? I was right. reading on your website that 70% of students just feel super uninterested and disengaged with school and yeah. teachers are kind of high percentage of that too, even though that's their job. Yeah, it's really sad when you know I hear stories all day long about the, the mandates and you know how students just don't want to show up and teachers are just uninterested in being there as well. Uh, so it, it's time that we actually get back to what we all value as human beings and, and really create our environments around that, you know, at the place that it matters most in our school. Absolutely. So I teach them all. I teach the entire school community through different workshops how to identify their own individual core values. And then through that process, we actually combine them and come up with the core values that are unique to that school environment and then talk about the behaviors that go along with them and really make it a statement of this is how we do things here in this school. And uh, it, it really is that whole process is buy-in and transformative in and of itself. And then the real work begins of infusing it into every detail of everything that happens on a school campus. I bet. So you've got some pretty cool experiences that I'm sure you've taken away from this. Like there's a few that stand out in your head as some really cool things that, that you've seen schools do just by you facilitating them, making that first step, right? Yeah, so uh, working with Mojave High School last year uh, in developing their core values, they had the, the mantra of success, nothing less. So what we did is we actually took the word success and wordsmith the core values that came out of all of those workshops into um, their core values, their seven core values, which was kind of fun and a challenge in and of itself with all the S's and the C's and the word success, <laughs> the wordsmithing process was quite interesting. There's not a lot of variety in the yeah, letters. <laughs> it was uh, quite interesting. The U was an interesting conversation to come up with, but, uh, <laughs> but it worked, you know, coming up with unwavering hope. Uh, they mm. talked a lot about hope and so it was fantastic. Uh, there was a student this year already, the, the dean had a student come over that had serious behavioral issues at another school and the dean welcoming that student in said, you know, this is how we do things here and one of their core values is choose your life. And he was able to share with that student, this is your opportunity to choose your life. You get to start over here and we're here to back you and this is how you, we do things here. That's incredible and I think you were doing the most amazing job. Like Thank I you. love this idea and I think you're really brave for branching out and actually starting Thank this. You. That's awesome. So you're actually looking to, you're obviously wanting to continue this work, right? And yes. so you're looking for some funding right now on an Indiegogo way right here. I am, I am. I am. Um, I actually have five schools that are wanting to work with us this year and they don't have the funding. So I started an Indiegogo campaign to try to crowdfund and raise the money uh, to be able to keep going um, with this mission and be able to help these schools. And they're actually in the downtown area. So i um, super excited. They're amazing people and really excited to adopt the, the principles that um, have started at Zappos and a lot of other fantastic companies that really embrace their core values. So I personally believe, and I know that obviously Sandy believes, that this is a really important thing to be funded. So um, if you, people go on Indiegogo, they can search for Got Core Values from there. Um, yes. And you also have a Twitter account that people can find the link from too, right? Yeah, so Twitter is at Got Core Values, or uh, my Twitter is at School Sandy, and uh, also the Facebook page is Got Core Values as well. Fantastic, and if people want to find out more about the initiative too and reach out to you um, via the website, it's gotcorevalues.com as well. Right? Yes, perfect. Awesome. Um, yes. Please um, put your hands together for Sandy, she's fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.